Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests, wherever you are. In this speech, I will talk about the single most important element in creating loving, lasting relationships, as that wonderful introduction, which I couldn't have written better myself, said. And the hint is in the title, Understanding, Understanding. Now, when you interact with either your significant other or really anyone else, does it look like this? Can you relate to one or both of these people where you're talking and talking and the other person is just zoning out? Or maybe you're the one who's listening to somebody go on and on and on and blah, 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 like Charlie Brown's teacher. Well, today, again, I'm going to tell you about the number one ingredient to having a happy, long-lasting relationship. I'm going to talk about some ways that this is sabotage, that you can inadvertently, of course, nobody wants to sabotage their relationship, but there are ways that we naturally react when we do this, and I will talk about those, and the most effective way to make understanding happen. The number one ingredient to happy, long-lasting relationships. So wouldn't it be wonderful if your, you and your significant other could look like some of these wonderful couples? And that number one ingredient is being understood by your partner. And that's also true in friendships. But I'm going to focus mostly on close relationships, long-lasting relationships. Everybody has a desire to have a, a wonderful relationship like this. Nobody goes into a relationship thinking, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to make this terrible. However, if that were really the case for everyone and they were... <laughs> then we would never have a divorce. We would never have breakups. Everything would be wonderful. We can sabotage our relationship even when we may not mean it. So there, there are many ways to sabotage, but here are some of the main ones that are inadvertent. So let's say your, your partner comes home from work and they say, can you believe what Joe did? He, he got up in front of the entire group and, and he, he criticized me, he blasted me in front of that. You know, what an idiot. Well, how can we respond to this? Well, we, you know, we might inadvertently criticize him. Says, well, what did you do to make Joe talk to you like that? Or we might give advice and, you know, that's so well-meaning and yet sabotages understanding. He says, you know, you know what you should have done? You, you should have told Joe off. You shouldn't have just let him talk to you like that. Or you can shift the focus to yourself. Again, in a well-meaning way to establish some kind of rapport. Say, yeah, well, you know, that happened to me once. And let me tell you what I did. The only problem with this is that that typically produces something like what you're seeing in this couple here. So how can you be understood? Let's talk about the golden rule. You've all heard about the golden rule. You know what the golden rule is, right? Who ha he has, he has the gold, makes the rule. <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> this one. That's do unto others as you would have do unto yourself. And another way of expressing that here is to seek first to understand and then be understood. And this is a wonderful quote by Stephen Covey, who was paraphrasing St. Francis of Assisi in that if you want to be understood, start by understanding your partner. Now, I'm gonna, there are three ways to help increase understanding your partner. The first is to want to do it, to first seek to understand your partner first. The second is listen to validate. Instead of doing those things that sabotage, <clears throat> Just listen to validate. And perhaps the most important element is to learn something called tracking. 
Now you may be thinking, what the heck is tracking? Tracking is a listening skill that help keep you in what I call the, your aware loving heart. And the purpose of tracking is to validate the speaker. Doesn't mean agreeing. <clears throat> it means that you hear and you understand the speaker's message so that they know that they have been heard and understood. You track by focusing your attention 100% on the other person. You put aside your own thoughts. You may have some ideas about, <clears throat> again, advice or, or suggestions or things that, that you've done. <clears throat> put those aside for now. Focus entirely on what the message is, not just the words. In that example, the, the key isn't what happened. The key is how your partner felt about it. Focus on those feelings. Boy, that, you know, that, that felt terrible to do that. How embarrassing. And if you hear criticism from them, don't take that personally. Instead, validate the pain or the angst of them. And so we can track to a resolution. We can start with a situation where the other person might be upset and we keep tracking and tracking and tracking and validating and move towards a resolution until they look up <clears throat> so that you can go from this to this. And so fellow Toastmasters, work to under increase understanding by understanding your partner. Avoid sabotaging understanding by some of those criticisms or advice or moving to yourself. And perhaps most importantly, Learn tracking. And you might be wondering, how can I learn tracking? Well, you can take a workshop. You can hire a coach. I happen to know a really good coach about this. Or you can even buy a book. And it so happens that there's a book coming out very soon by somebody who you may know. It will be out on March 4th. Mr. Toastmaster.